Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be doing a very highly requested video and that is my updated sunglasses collection. Now, sadly, we have three pairs that are no longer with us and I wish I knew what happened to them because I loved all those sunglasses. I am slowly buying them again or receiving them again and bringing them back into my collection because I really love them. In the Originally wasn't gonna film a collection video until I found those three pairs but at this point it's looking pretty bleak and I probably won't have those pairs again until I rebuy them so the three pairs that I'm actually no it's only two pairs now but the three pairs I was missing were my hot pink flash lenses by Ray-Ban my silver flash lenses by Ray-Ban and the like blue ombre nude gradient Ray-Bans, but Tony got them for me for my birthday, so I no longer am without those. So without further ado, let's get into my sunglasses collection. I have a bunch of different brands. I will say that Ray-Ban is just my personal favorite sunglasses brand. I just, I think the price is good, I think the quality is amazing, and I just find that they really flatter my face. In terms of where I buy my sunglasses, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know the drama that happened with Key West sunglasses. If you are from Montreal, I 100% do not recommend purchasing from Key West because they do not have any warranties, they don't really offer any solutions. If you want to hear about what happened with a pair of sunglasses that my boyfriend Mike bought, I will leave a link to it down below. I purchase all of my sunglasses now from Sunglass Hut because they have really good warranty, really amazing customer service, and I can buy with confidence from them and I know that if something goes wrong or something is defective, they won't tell me basically that they can't do anything about it. So. Not sponsored by Sunglass Hut. I wish that would be like the dream collaboration. So how I store my sunglasses is on these mirrored racks. I do not like clear nail polish racks, but I feel like these mirrored ones actually look really nice. And so I do have them for all my sunglasses. I pretty much filled up one, so I ordered another one because I know that sunglasses are something I am going to continue buying. I think I love sunglasses so much because they always fit, and when your weight goes up and down like mine does, it's nice to have something that always fits. So without further ado, let's get into my updated sunglasses collection. Okay, so I have one of the racks right in front of me, and I'm just going to start picking them up and showing you guys showing you guys them. I will list all of the sunglasses in the down bar with the style codes and everything, if you guys are interested in a pair of sunglasses that I show you don't have to worry about me mentioning you can literally just go down into the down bar and click the link so this pair is actually a pair that I would like to sell uh, no one seems to want them they are listed on some Dallas style closet these are the Ray-Ban new Wayfarers and I just have a tortoiseshell one I don't know I go through phases where I like them and phases where I don't like them right now I'm in a phase where I don't really like them on me um, but I still have them. I don't know, sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. I love all the sunglasses I have. This is probably just a pair that I'd like to get rid of. It's a classic pair of sunglasses. I just, I'm so comfortable in like aviators and cat eye sunglasses, I think. The next pair is a pair of Ray-Ban aviators and these are the all black aviators. I love these sunglasses so much. My dad loves them. I actually got them for him for Christmas because he would always steal mine when we lived together. I believe all of my Ray-Ban aviators with the exception of one one of them are the size 58. 55 is a little too small for me, 58 is the perfect size. I love these all black aviators, especially during fall and winter. I just think that they look so chic. The next pair I'm gonna show you, I guess I'll go through all the aviators. No, I'm just gonna go in order. This pair my boyfriend Mike got me for my birthday and these are super, super cool. My friend Megan actually got these and she like always talks about them in her vlogs and then when I went to Sunglass Hut with my sister to get my birthday present, I knew that I wanted to get a pair of sunglasses. I love sunglasses and I'm a really hard person to buy for because if I want something, I go and buy it. And so that makes my birthday and like holidays really difficult for like all my loved ones. You can never have too many sunglasses in my opinion. So I received three different pairs of sunglasses for my birthday, which recently passed. Mike got me these and I think they're so cool. I think they're very European looking. Um, I feel like these are very flattering on my face and I love the flash. I just think it looks so good with my hair color. The next pair I actually have duplicates of. This pair I got like, geez, my best friend Sierra was at, in, at school 
in Vermont when I got these. These are just the classic gold and green Ray-Ban aviators. These are called my beach sunglasses because I have literally taken these through hell and back. They, I didn't put them in a case. I wore them in the ocean, wore them in the water, got tanning oil all over them. The Ray-Ban logo scraped off. So I probably love these ones the most. They're so classic. Around Christmas time when I bought my dad a pair of sunglasses, I actually repurchased these. I forgot them at my family's condo, so I don't have like my new pair. I have double of these, but these I will definitely be bringing on vacation because I don't have to stress about these in the water. The next pair I'm super excited to have back in my collection because I love wearing these during the summer. I would probably wear that these with like this outfit that I'm wearing today. And this is my biggest pair of aviators. These are 62 millimeters. And I originally bought these years ago when I went to visit my best friend Sierra in Pennsylvania and I loved them. I don't know where they are. They I always called them my summer aviators. I felt like they just I feel like they just go really well with my skin tone and like my hair when I have a little bit of a tan. I love them because they go to like a blue nude, like almost clear ombre, and I just think they're so stunning for summertime, so I'm really excited to have these back in my collection. And Tony was like, are you sure you want a pair of sunglasses that you already own? And I'm like, or owned? And I was like, yeah, because I really miss these. The next pair, I think these are actually my first aviators. I remember buying them. And these might be 55. Jeez, I can't even see. No, these are 58 too. These are really curved. I curved them by accident once when I went on vacation. Um, so they're kind of fucked up, but these are these are okay. Like I don't love these as much. Um, they're like a brown gold ombre. I honestly can't remember the last time I wore them. I just don't love the brown. I don't know why. These are my first pair of aviators that I ever bought by Ray-Ban. I remember I was with um a friend and I bought these and I don't wear them anymore. The next pair is a pair of flash lenses and these are the blue flash lenses with the gold hardware. I love these. I just, I think they're so fun. I feel like they really go with my hair and my skin tone. These are a really fun pair of sunglasses that I always wear, especially during the summertime. I just feel like it, they're really fun and carefree and sort of beachy. And I also like that you can't, like people can't see your eyes. I just like that for some reason. The next pair is a pair of Ray-Bans. I don't even know where these came from. These are 55. Okay, so this is a pair of 55 aviators that I have. And you'll see what I mean when I say that they are really small. I don't think they look awkward on me. I just think that the size 58 is better for me. Now that I'm actually looking at them, I don't mind the small size, but I just like the size 58 or higher more. I forgot to include these in the video because I lent them to my dad when he forgot his sunglasses, but these are some of my favorite. They're very unique. I really don't see them at many places. And in my opinion, they look kind of retro, so I really like these too. The next pair was a super sweet gift that my best friend Nikki got me for my birthday. So the third pair I got for my 22nd birthday. And these are just the classic round pair. I had a pair of these, you guys know if you watch me, they were supposed to be rose gold, but they were actually defective and they were like pink flash lenses. I didn't love them. Um, I just wanted something more neutral. These are very popular in Europe. Both of my cousins that live in Greece have these. I just think they're fun for me, something different. And they're definitely a pair that I will get a lot of use of this summer. I think that's it for Ray-Ban, if I'm not mistaken. Now we're gonna move into Le Spec. Le Spec was like, I became obsessed with them last summer. I started off with this pair. These are the blush gold flash lenses. They're a pair of glasses that have a flat lens, um, which is really cool and really different. And they have like a blush pink sort of flash. I think these are super fun for summer and the color is super unique and the flat lens looks really expensive. I love Le Spec because they're super trendy but also really affordable. The second pair I purchased were the gold flash lens and this color is actually called matte black. I made that mistake when I first ordered them. I thought I was going to get this pair that was like a gold flash lens but I actually got a pair that was like um, like gunmetal sort of flash lens. So yeah, these are really beautiful too. I think that they're really unique. I love the flat lens. I think they look super expensive and they're definitely worth the price tag because they're super affordable, I feel, for really good quality sunglasses. Okay, then I have two pairs here and I don't really know what the difference is. Okay, so apparently I have two pairs of the same sunglasses. I don't know how that happened. Maybe I'll give a pair to my mom or dad. This I think is called the khaki pair or gunmetal. Um, these are more neutral but still have that really like expensive flat lens look which I really like and 
I don't know, they're just different than the Ray-Ban aviators. Like the shape is different, they're a little bit bigger. The flat lens definitely adds something to it, I feel though. So I really like these. And then Lispec actually sent me a few pairs of sunglasses. I have another pair over there I'm gonna show you guys. But this is a this is a very interesting pair. Like I don't know if I'd ever wear these out. I feel like they're just a little much for me. So the first pair is by Diff Eyewear, and this is the only pair of Diff glasses I have. And these are the Bella Polarized glasses. I really do like these. I feel like these are very like Jackie O, like kind of like pot, well maybe not with the pink flash lens. I feel like these just kind of look like a little bit more high maintenance than aviators. So I really do like these and I think that they're fun and like especially with your hair pulled back, I think they're really pretty. Diff is like a charity eyewear company so I think if you buy a pair, a pair is given to someone, I don't really know. You see them all over Instagram. I purchased those myself though. Oh, this is another pair of Lispec sunglasses and these lenses are actually really trendy now, the kind of like hexagon angular sunglasses. I got these in probably like November and these are really trendy right now so they're kind of cool to have. They still, they have the same sort of blush gold flash lens so that's really nice too. The next pair I'm going to show you is one of my newest pairs and this also is a flat lens sort of vibe and I think that these look so expensive and I think they cost me around $25. I love them. I don't have another pair of sunglasses that are like this red pink flash. I love these also with the flat lens and I love the rimless look. Uh, Ray-Ban came out with a pair that is sort of like this idea but smaller. Those are really cool too. And then the next pair are just random companies so unfortunately I can't really tell you where they're from because I don't really remember. This pair of sunglasses are obviously the Dior inspired and you guys whenever I wear them always think that I have these Dior sunglasses but I don't. I just got like a cheap pair probably from a site like Zafool. Um, I honestly, I just can't spend that much money on sunglasses. This pair I started wearing more recently. It's kind of a cat eye um, pair. This I think is from Zafool as well. They're kind of fun. Um, I'll probably bring them to Greece just because that way I don't have to worry about them. I can wear them in the ocean. I also like that they're a little tighter against my head. And then the last pair, a company actually sent me in a PR package, and they're by Aldo. I don't think they're still available, but these are obviously like very Dior inspired. They're kind of cool too. I brought them to Greece last year though. All right, so that was my updated sunglasses collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Rest in peace to the three pairs of sunglasses that I have no idea where they went. I will leave links to the sunglass rack that I have as well as all the pairs in the order that they were shown so that way you guys can get all the info. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night depending on when you watch this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.